Hi, welcome to Katherine Edwards Yoga. We're going to do a vinyasa sequence today. Getting started to get right into it, come to the top end of your mat. Inhale, sit back into chair pose. Told you we're getting right into it. Keep that chest lifted, arms lifted up high. On your next exhale, release to a forward fold. So you can keep a soft bend of the knees here. Take those arms to an elbow grip, but maybe add a little sway of the shoulders side to side. Let the head nod, just release. And we'll start rounding up to stand, stacking each vertebrae on top of each other. A nice little warm up through the back. Inhale, sit back to chair pose. We'll take that sequence again. Keep that chest lifted. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, release to your forward fold. Take a grip of the elbows, maybe opposite grip this time. Add a little sway side to side. Keep it nice and loose. Releasing the arms slowly, roll it back up to stand. One more time. Inhale, sit back, chair pose. Maybe you're coming down one or two more inches lower this time. Hold here for the inhale. Exhale, dive forward to your forward fold. Again, you can grip the arms, have a little movement side to side. Rounding it up to stand. As we inhale, lift the arms high, lift the gaze, slide back bend. Exhale into your forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release down, step back to a downward facing dog. That's your first down dog, you can cuddle the legs, bend one knee and then the other. Maybe even a bend of both knees, in that extension through the spine, lifting hips up high. And we'll start warming up the core. On the inhale, rock forward to plank pose. Exhale, press back to down dog. Three more moving just like that. Inhale, rock forward into plank. Exhale, press it back. Again, inhale, plank pose. Exhale to your down dog. One more time, inhale forward to plank, and we're gonna hold here for two full breaths. On the exhale, lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, low cobra, lifting chest, neck, and head. Exhale, release, make your way back to your downward facing dog. Good, walk or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands through prayer, releasing back by your side. Again, inhale, reach it high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, stepping back to your downward facing dog. On the inhale, come forward, plank pose, just one full breath this time. As you exhale, lower either knees, chest, chin, or that chaturanga half push up. Inhale through cobra or up dog, scooping the heart forward. Exhale, making your way back to your downward facing dog. Good, look to your hands, walk or hop. On the inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise it up to stand. Exhale, returning back to mountain pose. Again, inhale, lift it high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold, step back into your down dog. On the inhale, come forward, taking your choice of vinyasa flow. Good. Walk or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and release. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands through center, back to mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release down. Right leg steps back for a low lunge. Arms reach overhead, lift the gaze. Exhale, plant the hands back down. Step to plank pose, moving through an optional vinyasa flow. Down dog, inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step it forward, low lunge, other side, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, plant it back down, left foot steps up to meet the right. On an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise it all the way up. 
Exhale, bring hands to prayer and back by the sides. Inhale, grow it tall. Exhale and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release down. Left leg steps back for a low lunge. Reach the arms up high. Exhale, plant hands to the ground. Step it back to plank pose. Optional vinyasa flow. Down dog, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward. Back knee lowers, arms reach up once again. Exhale, plant hands to the ground, step up to forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, unfold. Inhale, rising up to stand. Exhale, hands to prayer, back down by the sides. Once again, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, unfold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release down. Right leg steps back. Keep that right hand planted. Left arm's going to reach up overhead for an easy twist. Turn the left hand back down. Step it to your plank pose. Optional flow. Good. Inhale, reach the right leg up high. Exhale, step it forward, high lunge, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands plant back to the ground, stepping up to a forward fold. On the inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, rise all the way back up. Exhale, hands through prayer, coming back down by the sides. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release, left leg steps back, high lunge. Keep the left hand planted, right arm reaches up, easy twist. Exhale, right hand plants down, step it back to plank pose, moving through your choice of flow. Down dog, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward, high lunges, both arms reach up overhead. Exhale, plant the hands back down, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands through prayer, coming back down by your sides. Next, inhale, sit back in the chair pose. Keep that chest lifted, arms lifted. And we'll bring hands to prayer at heart center, taking this into a twist. You can bring that right elbow to that left thigh. Planting palms together, feel that twist through the upper back. So we're going to step that right foot back to come to a high lunge for a twist. Good. Feel that twist deepen through the upper back. One more breath. Hands can return to the floor. Step back to plank pose. Moving through your choice of flow. Good. Down dog, walk or hop top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands through prayer. Coming back down by your sides. Inhale, sit back into chair pose. Keep that chest high. One full breath here. Changing hands to prayer at heart center. We'll take that twist to the other side. Left elbow to the top, right side. Palms pressed together to feel the twist through the upper back. And step that left leg back to your high lunge prayer twist. Good. Keeping palms pressing so you're rotating to lift that chest up. And release hands down to the ground. Step back to plank pose. Moving through an optional flow. Good. Down dog. Walk or hop top of the mat. Inhale halfway lift. Exhale release down. Inhale rise all the way to stand. Exhale, returning back to mountain pose. Inhale, come to chair pose, sit the hips back. Maybe you're coming just one or two more inches slower this time. Stay here for the inhale. Exhale, come to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to lower. You can step or hop back to plank for chaturanga. Moving through your choice of vinyasa. Turn into down dog, inhale, lift the right leg. 
Exhale, step it forward for warrior one. Back heel is grounded, arms reach up overhead. Good. Practice the arms. We're going to take it forward for an eagle wrap. Left arm under the right. Squeezing the forearms together for that rounding and stretch of the shoulder blades in the back. And you can find your focal point. We're taking this to an eagle balance. Bring your weight into the front right foot. Left leg wraps around. If you're nesting an eagle, start to draw the elbows forward from the knees as you cross down. Two more full breaths. Good. With control, release that left leg. Step it back to your warrior one. Arms release up overhead. We'll take that clasp behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open the front chest. As you exhale, humble warrior torso over the front thigh. Let the head be heavy. Bringing it back up, arms release overhead. Take this to your warrior two. Opening arms up parallel, facing the long end of your mat. Put the front palm on the inhale, reach back. Reverse warrior. As you exhale, take it into side angle. Front forearm to the thigh, top arm reaching 45 degrees. You can always bring that bottom hand down to the ground or a block, or take that bind. We'll be here for two more breaths. Good. Releasing back up to your warrior two. Straighten the front leg as you come into triangle. So forward, take that 90 degree rotation. Left hand overhead. Feel that top shoulder opening up. One more breath. And we'll take this to half moon. Start bringing your weight into the front right foot. Finding your balance. You can stack the hips, stack the shoulders. That back wall, the foot extending, arms reaching wide each direction. One more full breath. And with control, step back for your warrior two. And windmill hands down to the ground, stepping back to plank pose. Your choice of flow. And down dog, walk or hop top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise it up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center, returning back by your side. One more time, inhale to chair pose. Maybe you're coming down two, even three inches this time. You can do it. Keep that chest high. On your next exhale, release to a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release down. Step or hop to your plank or chaturanga optional vinyasa flow. From down dog, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one, arms reach up overhead. Good. You can practice the arms, take it to an eagle wrap, right arm under the left. Feel that stretch of the shoulder blades in the back, and you'll find your balance point. Bring it into eagle. Bring your weight forward to that left foot. Right leg's going to wrap around. Gliding around the standing leg. An option to nest that eagle. Start crouching down, drawing elbows to knees. Two more breaths. Gently release. We're going to step back to that warrior one. Arms release directly overhead. Chain this to a clasp of the hands behind the back. Straighten the arms behind you, lift the gaze, open the heart center. On your next exhale, humble warrior, torso over the front thigh, arms reaching forward. Bringing it back up to your warrior one. Change it to a warrior two, arms parallel, facing the opposite long end of your mat. And on the next inhale, reverse warrior, front palm flips, reaching towards the back, feel that opening of the left rib cage here. Next exhale, swing all the way through to side angle. Left forearm to the thigh, right arm is either reaching above or 45 degrees forward, lengthening the right side body. Same option if you want to bring that lower hand down to the ground or a block, or take that by. We're here for two more breaths. Good. Release it back up through your warrior two. On the side for triangle, straighten the front leg, Tilt forward, find that rotation. Right hand directly overhead. Very slight squeeze the inner thighs to get that lift of the pelvis. Keep extending every limb. Fingers wide each direction. Good. 
If you're taking the half moon balance, start bringing your weight into the front left foot. Stack the hips, stack the shoulders. Back legs extending, fingers reaching wide. Same extension through every single limb. And with control, step it back to your warrior two. Good. Bring arms back down to the ground, step it to plank pose, moving through your choice of flow. Good. Down dog, inhale forward to plank pose, and we'll lower down to a forearm plank. We'll be here for about four breaths, keeping those hips in line with the rest of the body, forearms pressing the floor away. Staying steady here for two more deep breaths. And start walking into dolphin pose. You can walk the toes in, hips high. So it should feel like a down dog, except you're on the forearms. Still see, seeing that extension through the core, hips high. Forearms pressing the floor away. Gently lower knees to the ground. You can crisscross the ankles as you sit back. We're gonna to transition to a little bit of core work lying back. So you can lie down for a moment. Bring knees about 90 degrees, shins parallel to the floor. And we're gonna lift up the chest, neck, and head. Arms come along too, palms up. So a little mini crunch through the upper body. And we'll start bicycling the legs, pedaling one leg and the other. We're here for 12 counts for 12. Eight more. Last four. Go ahead and lie back, stretch it out. Hands and feet in opposite direction to catch your breath. Good. Bring yourself into a ball, knees to chest. You can have a little rock side to side, forward and back. We'll set up for a second exercise. You can straighten the legs and the arms directly overhead. Lift, crunch up, chest, neck, and head up off the floor. And we're gonna take a slow V shape as the legs and the arms extend each direction out long. On the inhale, bend the knees, come back to that ball. Lift it up, and as you exhale once again, slow lower down, legs and the arms, opposite directions. Inhale to bend, coming back to that ball, good. Four more, inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, slow, lower down. Bring your knees into chest once again. Bring it up and as you exhale, slow, lower, legs and arms opposite direction. Inhale, back to center, two more to go. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, slowly lower it down. Last round, bringing it to a ball. Lifting feet and hands overhead. Exhale to lower, slowly opening back up. Finally taking it to your ball. Let the chest, neck, and head relax back to the mat. Have a little sway side to side, some circles with the knees, active recovery. Good. Final core exercise for the day. Take thumbs and index fingers together. You're making a little triangle shape and place that under the hips so you get a nice tilt of the pelvis. Legs will go up and then out about 45 degrees. From here, we're crossing left leg over right, then right over left, little C shape with the feet. Staying here for 12 counts, stay breathing. Eight more. Last four, last two. Good, lower it down once again. Hands and feet in opposite directions, stretch it out, sigh of relief, we are done with four. We're gonna start slowing it down, and come to our cool down. Go ahead, bring feet to the floor, knees up. We're gonna take two rounds of back bend. So you can take bridge, you can take Urva Dhanurasana. We'll start off with bridge. Feet to the floor, knees up, arms resting by the sides. On your exhale, lifting hips high. You're welcome to stay here or interlace hands behind the back. Come on to tops of the shoulder blades, really pressing back of arms into the ground so you get that lift through the hips. Very slight squeeze in the inner thighs. Finding that opening through the whole front body. Two more breaths. Good, lower it back down, find your neutral spine for a moment. And we'll set up for back bend number two. You could take bridge like we just did, or maybe you're moving into Urva Dhanurasana. If you are, you're bringing hands just above the shoulders. And as you exhale, lift yourself up, still keeping legs engaged. Feel that chest reaching both up and towards the back of the mat, opening the whole heart center. 
two more full breaths. Good. Let me release and lower it back down. Allowing knees to press together, one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Just enjoying that energizing effect of your back bends. Good. We'll take a figure four stretch here. You can bring right ankle on top of the left thigh. Draw the legs in towards the chest, interlacing behind the left thigh. Feels nice. You could take a slight sway side to side, maybe a nod of the head. Allowing yourself to breathe space through that hip. Just noticing the heart rate start to slow down. Allowing your breath to slow down as well. Release the grip of the legs. We're going to keep this cross. Cross the right thigh all the way over the left. Arms can go out wide or cactus the arms. And take it into a twist as you let the knees fall over to the left. Looking back at that opposite right arm. Uncross the legs, we'll take it other side. Cross that left ankle to the right thigh, and you can draw legs in towards the chest, interlacing behind the right thigh. You want to add some gentle movement here. You can find what feels intuitive to you. Slow, steady breathing, allowing yourself each exhale to come a little deeper in the pose. the legs crossing all the way left thigh over right arms can go wide or cactus the arms and legs will fall over to the right so you feel that twist through the upper back option to look back at that left arm to the chest, either roll as a ball, side to side, forward and back, or maybe happy baby, letting the feet kick up. Any last movement, any last pose you'd like to fit in, go ahead and take that right here. If you're ready for Shavasana, let your legs extend long, arms resting by your sides, I'm just checking in. Notice how you feel compared to the start of this practice. Notice the blood flowing through your veins, the heart beating, the breath returning back to its natural pace. Allowing yourself to have some gratitude for this body that's able to do this yoga. Gratitude for this breath right here. Gratitude for this present moment to lie back, rest, and enjoy the benefits of your practice.
your deep breath here. Allow yourself to notice what's shifting. Carry that sense of groundedness, that sense of gratitude, that sense of presence with you for whatever lies next in your day. Thank you very much for sharing this practice. Namaste.